Hey, this is Robbie Merrill of Godsmack, and in today's lesson, we're going to be going over um, three different chromatic um, little doodads that I do. I've been doing these for years. Um, I'll do them right before I'm warming up, right before I go on stage. Uh, when I'm home, I'll do them. I'll slow them down a little bit and try to work on my technique. And you'll see some of my techniques not where I like it to be, but I'll show you where you should be with it. And um, so the first one is basically something I've been doing for a very long time. I forgot where I got it from, but it's just you have basic four fingers and then four frets. And then you go and um, you can do it in eighth notes or s single notes. Um, And then you want to go back down. Now this is the trick when I teach my students. I always tell them to try to leave your fingers on the frets. When you do it slow, it's easy for me to do it. But when I pick up the pace, you'll see my fingers not being on the fret. At the same time, I know this. And I try to work on it and um, just keep on doing it. If you, especially you beginners, if you can do this and consistently stay, keep your fingers on the frets, you'll notice later on in life when you stop playing other modes and stuff that you'll be able to get to the notes quicker. And a lot of your faster players, um, they have this technique down really good. So, go, so going down is... See how I'm leaving my fingers up? So you want to try to keep your fingers on the fret. And I do that, I'll do it in single notes, I mean um, quarter notes, eighth notes and then 16th notes. So um, I'll have a drum machine, give you my beat. Eighth. Made a mistake there, so I'll keep on repeating it. So this right here is basically, once I um, do it here, then I move it up each fret, I go all the way up the neck. Um, and again, when you try the technique, try to, I'm gonna know, I noticed this already when I, when I started playing faster, is my fingers are where I want them to be. If you have to, you can slow down the drum beat. But for this exercise, I'm just gonna do this, and you'll see each time, if I make a mistake, I'm gonna try to adjust and try to keep it clean. Um, I usually will try to do a one finger thing, and then sometimes I'll do two fingers. Um, in this pace here, I can pretty much do a one finger, but you'll see I'll be cheating a little bit, and I'll be using my second finger. Um, so these, this is the 16th notes, and it's chromatic, and you're going all the way out. Two, three, four. As you notice, uh, it's not perfect, but that's what you need to work on. So if you have to slow it down, you slow it down. I actually started getting tired. I started off with one finger, and then halfway through, you notice I was using both fingers because I was getting tired. But that's this is a really good for for beginners too. I always um, this is very. I always start them with this because what you're learning to do is you learn to keep each finger on the fret, 
that you need to be on. Um, and then it's keeping all these fingers going and you're learning to stretch. And it's also you're working with this technique. So you're doing two different techniques. So that's one. And the second one I learned a long time ago from David LaRue. Um, I think I had bought his video. It was a very long time ago. And it's something that I, I picked up years ago. And every once in a while I would do it. It's similar, but he's going all the way up the neck and all the way back down the neck. Um, so in this case, it's, it's chromatic again, but you're going to start with the first fret. And then when you get to the A string, you're going to move up to the second fret. When you get to the D string, you're going to move up to the third fret. And then the G string, you're going to move up to the fourth fret. And then so on and so on. Then you're going to start, then you go back up. So each time you go back up, you want to move. So something like this. You go back down. Now I made a mistake because when you go back down, you should be ending up right here with these four. I ended up on that A string on these four. So I'll start from going back down and see where I made my where I made my mistake. Here we go. Leave it in. Leave the mistakes in. <laughs> um, again, even when I make mistakes, I you just you got to get over it um, and then repeat it until you get it. You know, you don't have to. You can just. That's what I did. I, it took me three times to get it, but I finally got it. So even if it takes you eight times, you know, wherever you you make your mistake, start there until you get it right. Um, so in that case, so that's like I did eighth notes. So let's see what we got here. So your that's eighth notes. Now I'll do triple. I'll do um, three notes. Oh. I'll find the triplets. mistake again but that's pretty much what that is um, as your triplets and then you can do 16th notes Two, your 16th notes so what I need to do is redeem myself go back to three notes and get it right <laughs> Close enough. Close enough for rock and roll. Um, again, these are all just basic stuff, real basic. It, this, that, that's a fun one. Um, so you can start off with your, your, your quarter note, then you hit your eighth notes, then you hit your triplets, then your sixteenth notes, and then later on, I can't do do it, but there's, you can do six notes at a time. Um, I have to slow it way down. Um, that's, you know, do those for now. And if your fingers start to hurt, they start hurting, you know, take a break from it because you're, you're working, stretching your muscles and your tendons and all that stuff. So it takes years to um, to, to, to not feel the pain. Um, so the next one I'm going to do, next chromatic thing is I learned 
from uh, Tony Rambola, my guitar player for Godsmack. He um, he basically gets up in the morning and he'll do an hour routine and he'll play, we'll take a break, play, play. He plays all day long. And I was listening to him do this, since I do these, those two chromatic things, I was to him doing one. I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool thing. And um, he showed me it and I, he, he does it for all six strings. So I kind of um, reworked it so it works on the bass. So this is um, something he does. And he learned it from John Patitucci, I think, if I'm not mistaken. That's where he said he, he learned this one from. So basically it's chromatic again. Um, and what you do is um, you start off on the E string, the fourth fret, and you hit the f f four notes. Go up to the A string. Stay on the A string, but you're going to go half step up. So. That's, that's the run. And then you start on the D string on the A flat. So you started um, your octave and you do the same thing. And you go up to there and then you're going to go back down. So. Confusing, so I'm going to do it again slow. Uh, this took me a little bit of time, as you can tell. It's like holy schmoly, especially when you start moving up a half step. Um, so I'll do it slow again. Go up to half step, and then from there you're going to go. You're going to do it. Um, go back up, and you jump up to that note. Then you're done there. And then think of it as an octave. You're doing the same thing, but you're going up to, to your um, your root note, your your octave. So here's where this is what I what I do is I. So Tony would go all the way up the neck. So what I would do is I adapted it to the bass, and I, I went up a certain section, and I went back down. This is what I'm gonna I'll show you right now. Try to do it slow. So I'll do it now with the drum machine. So that's how it goes fast, I'll do it slow. This is, this is a really good one. I call this one a tongue twister. Um, because when you, when you start to learn it, you're going to notice when you move up, that's when it starts, your mind starts going crazy. Um, again, this is a fun one to do. Um, do it slow, and then you work your way up. Um, again, I will do it with quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. So that's, that's my um, lesson for the chromatics. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon on the next lesson.